kids, you know, get up, you know, and I always got things to do, but uh, it was pretty muggy. Yeah, you know, it was that. really warm at when night. When you said Saturday was the warmest night, I think we had four fans going, yeah. and that yes. was by far the hottest night. It was record, and we've never even seen lows that warm in the month of June in Portland. Now, so. if, a little earlier, Kristen said part of that thing on Saturday was, you remember those clouds we had Saturday that were, mm -hmm. but Kristen, that acted like a blanket at night? Well, yeah, that acts like a blanket at night. You have moisture on top of that, and then you had just the really warm air in place. So Jeez. all of that combined to make for a really, really yeah, warm night. Muggy. But the clouds that help cool things off during the day at least mm -hmm. so there was some good news there hey this weekend on Saturday speaking of which have you ever gone oh, to a yeah. winery and done a little bit of bar which is kind of like yoga well but... that's where you, you and <laughs> you and Jennifer we were there right you we guys did. tested that out so, yeah yeah this is what it looked like Jennifer Cl clarification quickly this was not <laughs> yoga I it's thought I was different. going there to relax now do you see me yeah. there in those those <laughs> those bright blue yoga pants that's me oh man no. <laughs> Jeff I don't even know if you could have kept up I it could was not. Like, <laughs> I could not have kept up. <laughs> it was so much fun. So it was bar three. So we did a bunch of exercises for a, for an hour. But you can see how happy we were. This was after we got done, and we were like, "Yes, time for the wine." So yeah. to do a little bit of relaxing. Oh, wait, now was this picture taken before or after the wine? Was it before or after? I think it was after. I think it was after. Yeah. We looked pretty good. For no, before an the hour. wine, but after the workout. That's <laughs> you what guys look great. Yes. You guys so, look great. Had a great time. It was at Stoller Family Estate. So you know, one of wow. our favorite wineries, and this is our camera that we have that looks good. out from that way, and it was so cool. Because you had all these women out there, music going, uh, doing the bar three exercises, and then you look down, and this is your view. All that Pinot there growing, and knowing there's going to be a treat at the end. And we had those clouds to kind of cool things off that Saturday morning because it was about to be a very hot afternoon. But it was a great time. Upper 80s in Portland right now. We're in. We're seeing winds coming in from the west at eight, so we're getting a break from some of that heat that we have had for so long. We're still above average, so temperature-wise, and don't expect this break to continue for much longer because we're going to be looking at that heat returning as we head towards the 4th of July. Out there right now in Lake Oswego, we're well into the 90s. 93 in Sherwood, Hillsboro in the upper 80s, sliding east, 93 in Milwaukee, downtown 87, and we're in the mid-80s back towards Camas and Washougal. Tonight, for your evening plans, we will cool off a little more quickly. It'll be more comfortable out, too, so breezy, 86 as we head through 7 p.m. and then falling into the to the 70s, but lows tonight eventually getting down into the low 60s to right around 60 degrees, which means it'll feel a lot better when you wake up tomorrow morning. A few thunderstorms trying to pop up along the Cascades, mainly up in Washington, and then we've also had a few showers rolling in along the coast. That's kept things a little bit cooler along coastal areas. That's thanks to, thanks to a disturbance that's moving across uh, parts of Oregon and Washington, but that disturbance is going to get out of here, and then our attention turns to this high pressure. The same one that brought us all of that heat, it slipped back down to the south and east, giving us a bit of a break, but it's going to move right back in our direction. So tomorrow it gets a little bit closer to us. We're talking highs right around 90 for the metro area. Meanwhile, we'll continue to heat things up across central and eastern Oregon. We head into Tuesday, that high gets even, or late Tuesday into Wednesday, and that high gets even closer to us still. And by Wednesday and Thursday, those are going to likely be the warmest days of the next week. We're talking highs getting into the middle and even upper 90s with more triple digit heat across central and eastern Oregon. And as we head closer to the 4th of July and into that weekend, this high stays here, and that means we're going to be looking at very hot temperatures going into the weekend as well. So out there right now, cooling off a little bit, upper 80s for the valley, central and eastern Oregon in the 90s there. We will see warmer temperatures tomorrow. Your coastal forecast, uh, 60s to low 70s with clouds in the morning and then trying to gradually clear out for the afternoon. I-5, low 90s with some cloud cover in the morning and then sunshine for the afternoon. Central and east, mid to upper 90s, some triple digit heat possible. Cascades, we're talking highs in the 80s there, low 90s for Hood River. And then your forecast for Portland for the next few days, 90 Tuesday, 94 Wednesday, 97 Thursday. Overnight lows start to come up a little bit, making it feel quite a bit warmer as we head towards the middle part of the week. Fourth of July arrives Saturday. It's going to be great for Fourth of July. If you don't mind the heat, highs in the mid-90s with plenty of sunshine. So lots of sunscreen this week. And it's going to be a hot one. And what's your reminder for folks going to that blues festival all during the oh, weekend? Mm -hmm. Keep cool, drink lots of water drink and sunscreen. Lots of water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, wear sunscreen for sure. Carly, yeah. what's traffic look like? The traffic's just heavy. You know, we haven't had many incidents, which is good. It's good. You know, yeah. so 